All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to rebind or change some of your key mappings on your Pocket Bolt X. Um, so here, if you scroll down to where you see keyboard presses, button A, button B, button C, button D, and everything here, right? So if you want to change a uh, key bind, all you have to do is replace these two with the same letter for button A, and you continue. So for me, I'm going to change my binds to match my UN con. So this one needs to be B, which means I also need to update release to B. All right. This one should also be E. You go down and you'll update this. And then this one is key return is just the keyword. Or a constant for um, the enter key, but we don't want that. Go ahead, remap this to C. And then my con does not use the macro pin, so this one you don't need to worry about it. Go ahead, and ignore that. And you just save it. And then um, if you upload it, if you didn't mess anything up, oh, I messed something up. There we go. If you upload it, you will instead see that instead of ASDF, I will output A, B, D, E, J, I, S, Oop. make sure I got that right. There we go. So now we have new buttons. And then, um, let me, I guess I'll tell you all about knobs as well. So if we go, the way I, remap knobs is right here. So you have um, knob one refers to the left encoder, knob two refers to the right encoder. So if you want to change the direction of the knob, the left encoder, all you have to do is, uh, I believe you just swap negative 15 and 15. So this one would become negative 15 this would become 15. So this is only in keyboard mode. So if you just want it, um, if your joystick mode works fine, but your keyboard mode is like swapped, you can go ahead and swap it in here. Same thing for the right volume. You can go ahead and just make sure this is positive, make sure that's negative, and then you'll swap it. If you want to change um, joystick mode, what I would do is um, you go up here and you look for your encoder pin bindings. Here we have a define as three and two, and then one and zero for the right one. So if you want to change, let's say you want to reverse the right encoder, you would go ahead and make this one zero and make this one one. You just swap these two numbers. If you wanted to do it for the left one, you make this one two, you make this one three. Again, you would just swap it. But once you swap it, that means that your keyboard and or your mouse control will be swapped as well. So then you'll go ahead and swap to here as well. So that way your keyboard mode would stay the same, but your um, joystick mode will be swapped. And yeah, that's about everything you need to know here. You can also see, yeah, if you need to take a look at the keybinds again or 
which pin maps to what uh, button. You can see that here and here. And yeah, that's about it. All right, so that's all you need to do for firmware customization.